the number of mobile subscribers has increased tremendously in recent years voice communication has become mobile in a massive way and the mobile is the preferred way for voice communication sends an introduction standardization background and basic processes by the end of this module you will be able to understand the user and operator expectations discuss the future of wireless communications understand the various technology comparisons list the LTE SAE main requirements identify the network architecture evolution towards an LTE SAE network briefly explain the basics of the LTE air interface review the 3GPP specification work concerning LTE SAE underline the LTE SAE key features 3GPP in continuing the technology progression from the GSM and UMTS technology families within 3GPP the LTE system can be seen as completing the trend of expansion of service provision beyond the downlink modulation is based on OFDMA orthogonal frequency division multiple access OFDMA is a variant of OFDM which has the advantage that receiver complexity is at a reasonable level it can handle figure describes the EPS network architecture this figure also shows the division of the architecture into four main high level domains user equipment UE evolved UTRAN E UTRAN evolved packet core network EPC and the services domain the RRC states in E UTRAN are RRC underscore ideal and RRC underscore connected as shown in the figure in RRC LTE multiple access is different to that of WCDMA in downlink multiple access is based on the orthogonal frequency division multiple access OF DMA in uplink multiple access is based on the single courier frequency the basic mechanism behind MIMO is linear algebra if we for example transmit s is equal to 2 signals so s1 via two antennas and receive the signal at r is equal